What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode with Broke Girls Art School. In today's episode, I will be showing my process for this tattoo. So yeah guys, feel free to drop a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Um, I've been thinking about doing some live tattooing sessions or maybe even wood burning sessions. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing, please let me know. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you see some of my future videos. Let's get started. So the first step I usually always take with tattooing is my line work. Um, so I was going around the outside of all the animals with a seven round liner. Um, since the heads are so small, I wanted to keep the lines pretty dainty so it wouldn't be like too bold. And I use Prime and Flex for my cartridges. Um, the machine that I'm using is the Cheyenne Sol Nova. And then for those little details on the faces, I was using a five and a three. Again, I wanted to keep those lines pretty light. And usually after I'm done with my line work, I'll let the tattoo sit under green soap for a minute or two so it like wipes away all of that stencil. Um, because I usually, when I'm doing lines, I just dab with just water on my paper towel. I don't use green soap because I feel like it makes the stencil wipe away quicker. And I'm always super paranoid about my stencil wiping away, so I try my best to avoid that at all costs. <laughs> and then for this shading, I am using a Bug Pin 7 Curved Mag, also from Prime and Flex. And usually with black and gray, I'll go in with kind of a mid-tone and then I'll build off of that. So I'll brush out my mid-tone into like skin tone and then I'll also like go in in the areas that need high contrast, like the insides of the ears, for example, and make those really dark so you create more dimension in the face. And honestly, like, I think wood burning was an amazing precursor to get into tattooing because doing all of the dog portraits and animal portraits, I got really good at fur texture. And you can really take, you know, things that you do with wood burning and apply them to tattooing if you uh, style them similarly. That was definitely a big help for me. Yeah, wood burning and tattooing are also very similar in the aspect that you need to go at kind of a consistent speed. And you can't stay in the same place for too long. Yeah, I was really excited about how this tattoo turned out. This girl is actually in school to be a vet and works on a farm, I guess, so animal lover for sure, which I am as well. So like here in the cow, I wanted to take advantage that it was a like solid black animal. I just didn't want the piece to be muted at all. I wanted to take advantage of my really dark spots. One big thing with tattooing is don't be afraid to use black. I mean, obviously don't overdo it. You don't, because you can make your pieces look muted if you do too much black as well. But highlight your areas of contrast for sure. see the directions that I'm dragging out the ink. I run my machine at about a 10.2, but it's different for everybody. It all depends on how quickly you move your hand for what voltage you should use. But I'm 
And when I line, I usually run it like a 10-3 or 10-4, depending on the grouping size. The higher the grouping size, the quicker that I uh, set my voltage. And I think I'm going to make another video on like my drip system that I use for black and gray. So stay tuned if you'd like to see that. And here is the finished product. Again, I had so much fun with this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.